Now let's make a more advanced trait study. Let's apply the ruler pattern for the cost. Let's create those properties here. As you can see here, so every component got this, those values, um, which uh, now will uh, will uh, roll to the co total cost, right? So we have the cost values here. We could now assign those costs, you know, of each component. For example, like maybe they have something, you know, uh, specifics. Let's say like um, one, two, three different cost uh, for five five now uh, when we are here so we have this cost available as a total cost at the component level so we could uh, actually apply this uh, as a roller pattern simulation tools uh, apply roller pattern for this one cost apply and we have it here we could refactor now those so delete those two delete and refactor from this one in order to have uh, to have reused properties cost to define cost to define not refactor but redefine so in this context right and then specification properties cost to define total cost to redefine and the last one specification properties cost Fine. Total cost redefine. Okay, so now if we will simulate the system, let's see that it works. So run, and you have here subsystem selection, right? So let's say that I will select uh, remove at like A, right? And then it loads the cost from those components, as you see and it sums to the total cost as subsystem. So it works, actually, it generates the total cost, as you can see. Okay, perfect. Now, um, what else we want, want to do here? We want to actually go to the each of those behaviors and manipulate with those costs. So let's say that this one, let's put it here, another opaque action. And here we have it. And it will be like, for example, so like lowercase cost is the property of this block component one, right? And this behavior, this behavior represents the so component one. So I could manipulate with this. So I could say, like, for example, uh, like uh, x equal cost. And I could even multiply by, for example, duration constraint. So constraint applied to this it will be like, for example, five seconds. Multiply by duration constraint, multiply by five. Could, we could even extract this constraint. You could use this also as a variable coming from the cost. And then X will roll here to the total. Let's say like uh, X uh, real. Will 
go to the input here and here it will say like uh, or maybe let's let's do it in different way let's um, let's make it uh, not like going here but let's take a more simple case let's say like uh, cost equal cost multiplied by five um, so this will be component one this will be like cost uh, equal cost multiplied by 10 because the duration is 10 and this will be cost equal cost multiplied by 20 so this is uh, the cost of like single time unit and then we'll multiply by time could assign to some other property could take from some other property as you can see here we are accessing the value of this cost and multiplying by duration constraint so we are getting total cost of this uh, process and then total cost will be generated in uh, in this situation we don't need to assign anything to the here because it will roll to this one and this will roll to the subsystem same here let's do it here so cost equal cost multiplied by five and here cost equal cost multiplied by ten Let's just check that it is opaque behavior. Also, we see it's call behavior action, so it's not suitable for us, right? We need to use opaque behavior. We want to perform any kind of uh, manipulations with the uh, properties, values, right? So let's add this one here. And we need duration constraint here, 10 seconds, right? This one is opaque action, that's okay. So there's also a big action. Then this one, I think that we missed also this one. So it is called behavior action. Let's remove that one. Let's delete this action. Let's add opaque action and make it here and there. And then it will be this one, this one, and then duration seconds and I think this one is also a big action and not a big action but okay here here let's say it's 10 seconds right cost equal cost multiplied by one let's say this will be oops, or maybe zero so multiplied by zero this will be cost equal cost multiplied by ten okay so we have cost and now this cost um, is coming actually into also automated trade study so we can also show the cost here display value properties we see here total cost this total cost will be one of those inputs to this uh, this equation so plus plus cost with the weight let's say two multiplied cost it will be more important let's say so we'll have this and now here we can create those parameters actually not create but just show parameters parse and show like this and then assign the cost here and then score goes here so now it is a derivative from the cost and the score right so we are changing uh, uh, duration should be less right and the cost should be more right so this is kind of you know uh, now affects uh, each other you know we don't normalize those values so cost will not likely be at the same level duration is in the seconds uh, uh, and the cost is in the, uh, those units but in any case so, so uh, let's see how that works now let's go to the instance table for this uh, so this one is taking just a duration so let's update this manual case so we'll take from the trade study block instead of this one and uh, we'll also manual case delete those don't need number of runs of those spec just need score 
and also we need um, subsystem and we need uh, the duration and uh, total cost so those are the properties and now let's create the variance variance with variance and here we have those alternatives so because we are building everything manually so we need to choose the alternative manually here actually if you will make this a block as abstract i think it will not be created automatically you know this one so then you would uh, actually just need to not to delete here but you know just to pick uh, the right one and then you click but uh, in any case so we have those alternatives and now let's uh, run manual and we'll see results here and now let's run automatic based on this uh, setup so we are using total cost same right and then let's run automatic so we get a uh, minus uh, 110 score a1 variant and here is the same minus 10 score a1 variant and also we can output all the results so let's create csv file to output all results and use it here for the automatic one so when you run automatic we get the results into the file and we can open and investigate the situation how that based on the time changed everything you know how we generate that actually output here in between but also we can change this one that csv would generate right at the end so it will include only like final configuration so let's run again again result is here let's click here and then we see those configurations all the configurations so even if it's automatic when we're running we can see configurations what were available to use here for the analysis okay so that was the mod once case with trade study using behavior diagrams.